everyone. Okay, so today's video is going to be on concealer, but it the general principle of it really um, goes with most things. So it's still in favor to do the concealer in the triangle technique. And it's a really good technique because it brightens up the under eye area really beautifully. The, the problem that I see, and this is kind of a universal problem that I think, is that people don't understand, uh, understand that what you blend extends, right? So, and that goes with everything, blusher, bronzer, eyeshadow. So when you put a little bit of eyeshadow, eyeshadow on the back of your hand and then you start to blend it, that little bit starts to move, it starts to blend out. So rather than applying concealer in this big triangle, you need to understand that when you start to blend it, you're gonna be moving it anyway. So you don't need to apply it as much and in that exact shape in order to get the same effect. It's like when you see people and they start putting foundation on, they put the exact same amount on everywhere. And then there's nowhere to blend it because you have the exact same amount on everywhere on your face. Rather than say just down the center and then start to blend it out, you're applying the same amount of product. So let me kind of show you it in, um, in demonstration format, you know? So we're gonna do the triangle. So I'm gonna go down quite low, so right here. And then I'm gonna take it here and we're gonna just see how far just that goes. So rather than, than joining this here and creating more coverage, let's just see, do you know what? That's even too much. I've even made a mockery of myself. But the point is, is that you can see the product is moving across, right? So we didn't need to fill in the triangle in order to get the same effect because our blending it is pulling it across. Look at that. Stunning. Stunning. And that's the point. Whether you're doing it with concealer or um, foundation or eyeshadow, really massive mistake, right? Really massive mistake is that people use the same brush to do their eyeshadow with, which is insane because you're just going to make a muddy mess and you don't want that. So when you're going into the um, eye with, you know, say you're using your brush, you've just done your crease work, it looks gorgeous, but you need a clean brush in order to blend it. Otherwise, it's just gonna create a muddy mess. And also, say you wanna create a dark crease here. So just put a bit of darkness here, then get a new brush and then blend it. And that little patch here is gonna come all the way across. Rather than you doing a dark line all the way across, then there's no bloody room to blend, is there? You're crazy people. I see it all the time. I've got to rinse this off because I'm going out. And I don't want to go out like that, do I? Not with one eye looking fabulous and the other one looking a little bit tired. A little bit tired, that's how I think. Anyway, I hope that made sense and I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Is that even a word still? I don't think it is. Do you remember? Subscribe here and give it a thumbs up. You go ahead and do that. I'd like it anyway. And share this video. Do you know what? Tell everyone, everyone, tell them now and tell them quick because who knows what might happen. They could go out with a full face of makeup on and no room to blend. And we've all seen that. I saw it just today. I'm not gonna lie to you. Terrifying. I was terrified. Terrified. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.